game for Sada Punjab last night against the table toppers Gujarat Titans. Now, what a game of cricket it was! I think Punjab must be really, really happy with their performance last night. Uh, they have come uh, at the fifth position right now, and I think it was really important for them to, uh, to win as they had lost a lot of games uh, before this. And that too, a win against a side like Gujarat Titans, who are uh, the team to beat in this competition must be really satisfying and must have given them a lot of confidence. But what do I say about this guy Liam Livingston? I think he was just amazing. He has hit uh, the longest uh, six uh, in this IPL with 170 meters. I think the moment it went off his bat and everybody were like really stunned and shocked that it actually went that long. Probably had it been a Wanka Day or a Chinnaswami Stadium, I'm sure it must have. Uh, really been outside the stadium but I think uh, I think it was amazing hitting by him uh, the way he really uh, clobbered uh, Shami last night uh, and uh, won pretty easily and convincingly I'm sure uh, the net run rate has gotten better and that is something that is going to be really important in the coming games because there are hardly three to four games left for some franchises rather all the franchises and uh, the, the net run rate is definitely going to come into the picture as it's a pretty close knitted con uh, contest uh, for the top four spots. Gujarat Titans, though, I would really like to um, commend uh, Hardik Pandya's guts here to win the toss and actually back because they are they know that they're the table toppers and they know they're going to qualify for the knockouts. So they're already preparing for the knockouts because uh, if there comes a situation where they need to bat first and that kind of a deal. Uh, they need to be ready and I'm sure last night uh, the Titans would be, uh, I mean they definitely have a lot of uh, work especially with batting first, uh, they need uh, they need a set batter to probably continue at least in the 15-16 the world for them to get, uh, to get to a decent defendable total so that is something that they would be looking at but I don't think they would be too disappointed, they are doing, uh, they are trying and testing and preparing for the knockouts which is a good thing but I think it was a fantastic game of cricket especially for Punjab and now they're in the fifth position but I think a, all the eyes will be on tonight's game which is back to our Southern Derby RCB versus CSK. A lot of good news for both the teams. CSK of course we know that Dhoni is back as the captain so and CSK has gone come back to the winning games the way they played the last game which was very convincing and very uh, authoritative like how CSK has played all these years. But uh, I would say RCB's bowling side is a lot better than CSK though the bowlers are coming into the fray now. But RCB bowlers have been doing well over the past uh, few games and they've got the confidence. They've got a slight edge above there. But it is very very important for the batters to come into the fray in, uh, in tonight's game. Especially uh, Faf and uh, Maxwell though we are happy for the fact that Virat has got some runs in the last game. But uh, for, it is very important for other batters along, uh, to play alongside him so that we get to a better and a decent uh, total. But I think it's going to be a cracker of an event. It is Faf versus MS Dhoni. Now, Faf has already said that he is uh, his, sty his style of captaining is similar to his, but we'll have to see uh, who, which captain would actually win tonight and it's going to be crucial for both the games. I think CSK would definitely be eyeing to win all the remaining games for them to have a chance. And it is very, very important for RC to get those two points uh, in order to get back uh, to the fifth or the fourth position. But then the net run rate is hit really hard. So I guess they'll have to really play out of their skins tonight. But it's going to be an amazing game. I'm really excited and I'm going to watch it from ball one. I hope you guys do. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, take care. See you. Cheers.